everyone and welcome back to Sandy Storytime. How are you today? Have you gone outside to get some fresh air and sunshine yet? I did and I feel wonderful. Today we are reading How Do Dinosaurs Get Well Soon by Jane Yolen and Mark Tegu. How do dinosaurs get well soon? Can you imagine dragging a very stubborn stegosaurus into the doctor's office? Or saying open wide to a very sharp-toothed carnotaurus? From enormous sneezes to gigantic whales, the outrageous antics of the mischievous young dinosaurs in this book are sure to bring laughter to anyone, large or small. Who has ever said, Hachu? The authors of this book have a dedication page. To David Francis Stemple, my first grandson, J.Y. And to Bonnie and Robbie for Dreaming of Dinosaurs, M.T. What if a dinosaur catches the flu? Does he whimper and whine in between each hachu? Oh, this dinosaur isn't feeling well. Does he drop dirty tissues all over the floor? Hmm. Does he fling all his medicine out of the door? Maybe he doesn't like the way the medicine tastes. Does he flip off his covers with tooth and with tail? Hmm, he's just so miserable he's not feeling well. Does he dump out his juice and get sick in a pail? Oh no, his juice is spilling and he's not feeling well. Does a dinosaur wail? What if a dinosaur goes to the dock? Does he drag all his feet till his mom is in shock? Oh, he just doesn't want to go into the doctor's office. Does he hold his mouth closed when he's told open wide? Mm -mm, I'm not opening my mouth. He looks like he's thinking. Does he scream? Is he mean? Does he run off and hide? Kind of hard for this dinosaur to hide, but he's trying to hide behind a book. And the doctor's wondering where he is. Does he push back each drink? Spit his pills in the sink? Does he make a big stink? Is that what you think? No. He drinks lots of juice and he gets lots of rest. He's good at the doctors because doctors know best. The doctor's going to make him feel so much better by taking care of him and giving him the right medicine. He uses a hanky on mouth and on nose. He snuggles right down underneath the bedclothes. So he's being a good dinosaur and he wants to get well. So he's doing what mommy and the doctor told him to do. He takes all his medicine without a fight. So he's being a good dinosaur and taking his medicine. Dad's giving him his medicine. He closes his eyes. He whispers good night. Then mama and papa tiptoe out the door. Get well, get well, little dinosaur. What a great story on what to do when you're not feeling well. Seeing the doctor when you need to, drinking juice and getting rest are some of the best ways to feel better sooner. Award winners Jane Yolen and Mark Teagle first collaborated on How Do Dinosaurs Say Goodnight, published in 2000. That book was a New York Times and Publisher Weekly's bestseller. It was also an ALA notable book, a school library journal best book of the year, and a book list editor's choice. Jane Yolen has written more than 200 books for children and adults. She lives with her husband in Western Massachusetts and St. Andrews, Scotland. Mark Teagle has illustrated more than 20 picture books, many of which he has written himself. He and his wife live in New York State with their daughters Lily and Ava. Thank you for joining Sandy Storytime. New readings come out weekly. Remember, go outside and get some fresh air and sunshine. Soak up some vitamin D from the sun. Thank you.